Hi, myself Kamaluddin. I am a 41 year old. I am suffering from CKD since 2015. My diagnosis started at uh, in 2018. My name is Nizamuddin. I am Kamaluddin's brother. My brother had been the the kidney patient for about seven years now. His dialysis journey started five years back. It started with one day a week, then it progressively went to two days, then into three days. And dialysis is not your quality of life. Also, it's not that great. The good decision that happened was, you know, when we were recommended about transplant. In 2021, my brother met Dr. Pallavi. He had encouraged transplant. Hi, this is Dr. Pallavi Patri. Kidney specialist and transplant physician at Manipal Hospital, Sarjapur. Uh, today, you've met with Mr. Kamaluddin, who's a patient of mine. He's a 41-year-old man who uh, just recently underwent a cadaveric kidney transplant. His kidney history is very similar to a lot of patients that I meet. He was diagnosed with a kidney problem seven years ago. Rarely had very many symptoms up until that point. Had a history of high blood pressure, but then suddenly presented. one day with fevers and leg swelling and uh, was found to have a very high creatinine level in the 4 range a normal level being around 1 uh, and was found at that point to already had significant damage to the kidney hi i'm dr manohar badrappa urology and renal transplant surgeon working at manipal hospital sarjapur road mr kamaluddin who came to our hospital with the dialysis and he was a is a ckd patient with a dialysis on and he got registered at our institute hoping for the best and as soon as the registry was done within a one month he got the kidney transplant done at our institute because the outcomes are so different for patients who remain on dialysis versus those who are transplanted we always recommend uh patients to undergo a transplant uh if they are healthy enough to do so we always look for living donors within the family and even whether there are blood group match or not as long as a donor does not have diabetes and other significant medical problems they are eligible to donate and if patients don't have eligible donors in the family then they should always be considered for a cadaveric uh, kidney transplant patients after a cadaveric transplant do very well there are uh, situations in which the cadaveric transplant may not work immediately the patients may have what is called delayed graft function where they may need to continue dialysis for a couple of days or a few weeks before the kidney starts working but the vast majority of uh cadaveric kidneys do very well and they work right away and they live uh, on average 12 up to 12 years some kidneys live much longer some kidneys are lost earlier um but either way transplant whether it's a living donation or a deceased donation transplanted patients live much healthier lives much longer lives than if they remain on dialysis and the patient is now hale and healthy and is get got back to his routine thing and is doing well in his life i think so organ donation is the best donation one can do for the society so i think so that everyone should pledge their organs so that one or the other person will be benefited by your pledge thank you we got the cadaver transplant done at uh, manipal hospital at sarjapur dr pallavi uh, dr manohar were together i think they were not just during the surgery but throughout beyond the surgery and post surgical follow ups and uh, they reassured us that things are all in the right track i am very well thankful to dr manohar dr pallavi and the transplant coordinator from mr dev and all other uh, nursing staffs i thank manipal hospital sarjapur Thank mm-hmm. you.